Hello, so today we're going to show how Census can be used with Airtable to help order fulfillment at an e-commerce company. So first off, I just want to get, get you up to speed with what I've done here in this Airtable instance. I've just named the columns as well as specified the different data types. So order ID, order status, contact email, what's the warehouse, whether or not that's been acknowledged, the number of items, and the galactic credits used. Um, in the Star Wars universe here. So what we need to do is we need to add a service. So for us, um, we're taking data from the data warehouse, which is configured here, it's Redshift, um, and we're going to sync that into Airtable. So what you, we need the API key, you take this logged in user and you go to airtable.com slash account, and you copy in, you copy this API key and you paste it here and you save this connection. Now this has already been done for me, so I just go in here and test it and verifying and there we go, we're check, we're good to go. So using that Redshift instance, I'm going to go and see my galactic orders model um, and I'm going to preview it to show you what we're sending. So we have the, order, the different order IDs, we have the total, which is the value of these different orders, we have which warehouse they're coming from, so whether it's a Jedi warehouse, a guild warehouse or a Sith warehouse, as well as who, what the customer's email is. Um, we also have this order, this order status field, um, which is either delivered, placed, processing, or canceled, um, with this acknowledged Boolean true be, being delivered, processing, or canceled, and false uh, corresponding to an order being placed. Great, so we have our data. Now we're good to configure our sync. So we hit add sync here. Um, we're going to select that Redshift demo instance that I showed you here. We have that galactic orders model that we just saved that I just showed you. Um, and we're going to sync that into that Airtable demo connection that I showed you as well um, to galactic orders. And we're going to do an upsert here um, because there aren't any records already existing in that destination. Um, here's This is something worth noting for this connection. Um, Airtable needs uh, a primary key, a key to join it that is a text field. So as we see here, all of these are text fields and this primary key that is this order ID um, can't be an integer or can't be a numeric type. It must be a short text type. Now that's the default when you create a new table in Airtable, but it's also worth flagging here. So great, we're going to sync order ID is that um, is that ID that we want to do, and we want to update the rest of the fields. So we're going to hit multiple, all matching. Great, we have uh, warehouse, email, order status acknowledged. But we also need to make sure that we get the galactic credits. How much is how much is it actually worth? And that's the total, as well as the number of items that have been ordered. Great. So we can also we could run a test here, which that would send one update of that record in that one create into our, into our sort into our Airtable instance. But right now we actually just want to do a, a full sync here for our purposes. Um, so great, this is just a confirmation page. What are we linking by? And what fields are we also updating to? Great. So we're going to run a sync now. Awesome. Now as this is running, we can jump into configuration and just want to flag a couple things here. First off, the schedule. Um, right now that was manual, so that's me hitting this button for sync now. Um, but what we can also set that to is a schedule. So every day, every hour, at five minutes past the hour, for example, um, as well as this API trigger, we can, we can if we're orchestrating this um, with a script, we can simply uh, send a post request to this API in order to trigger it. Um, here are the map fields, and then also we can name this. So we can name this Star Wars. Wars Logistics. Great. So now we jump into sync history. Great. It was completed. It took 26 seconds. And we go in here and we see these order IDs, these order statuses, the contact, as well as the acknowledged number of items in the galactic credits that it was worth. So for example, if I was an operations person that handled order fulfillment at Star Wars Logistics, I would come in here and I would sort this to see all of these placed orders and make sure that I handle the processing that needs to happen for my business. Thank you very much for watching.